generally, components produced by micro manufacturing um, processes have steep flanks, um, very complex geometries, and varying reflectivity properties. And they are very difficult to measure. In addition, there is a requirement now to, to study surface texture. And the focus variation technology that we have developed that is used in the infinite focus enables us to measure all those parameters, uh, including surface texture and primitive measurements, uh, in one measurement. So that makes it unique for this application. The, the technique of focus variation moves the narrow depth of field of an objective lens over the surface. If we look at this sample, um, this, this sample has a series of conical protrusions on the surface which should be just visible in the camera. And the requirement is to both image and measure those conical shapes. There is no specimen preparation required at all with infinite focus. The subject or the object is simply placed on the table and the software is put into live mode and when we go into live mode we can see we have flashing lights and it is th this this technology is called smart flash and has been developed by Alicona to enable us to collect this data and what we do is we define an upper and lower position of the focus going through focus both in the upper plane and the lower plane and then we press start measurement so now in the live view as we move the Z drive up and down you can see from the screen that we are going through focus in the upper and lower position we move to a low position which is slightly out of focus and we select that position on the software we then go in the other direction until we go completely through focus again and we mark that position we choose the lateral and vertical resolution and we press start measurement what is now happening is the head is moving and as the head moves it's collecting data and it is now finished collecting that data and we now go in, into and produce a 3D model of the surface and this can be seen here there is a 3D model now we have that 3D model obviously the main purpose of the software is to actually measure so say for example we just simply wish to measure the Z height of one of those uh, shapes we click on profile form measurement we draw a line from there to there and here we have the profile and now we can accurately measure the Z height which is shown there and we can also clearly measure length, width, uh, radius and all other two-dimensional measurements. The, the focus variation technology that's employed in the infinite focus has enabled um, micro machine um, component manufacturers to for the very first time actually prove that they are making what they say they make. Here's an example of our automated cell. We, we built this in hopes of being able to create and accept one micron tolerances. Currently, right now, we're at 1.7 microns. To get to the one micron may take us another six months, but we, we do now have the ability to measure and see what we are making, which will make this a, a, a much faster uh, rate of, of accomplishments. Um, when we started with Alicona, we were at four microns capability. In a matter of one year and two months, we've gotten to the 1.7. Um, six months from now, we hope to be approaching that one micron spot. If, if, if you were to take an example of what it what it takes to have everything in line to make that possible, we, we needed to actually 
in, include focus variation in every transfer of the manufacturing process. You know, we are measuring the cutters, we are measuring the electrodes, we are measuring the results of the parts, and in taking all those variations and, and reducing them to our best of our capabilities to end up with a, a closer and smaller tolerance acceptance. So an example is um, we have a, a micro electrode machine that will take and cut the part for this machine, the robot will transfer it to here and vice versa. Also this robot, this machine will also take electrodes from here to bring it back for this machine. The automation that goes with this actually makes it a, a little more of a challenge but also there's benefits with it. When, when you can take the, the, the hands out of the transfers, you have a more consistent, re, repeatable process based on the, the equipment and its performance capabilities. Also in our development is a laser ablation. This is a machine that, we, that cuts three dimensional shapes with laser light. We are currently now cutting forms as example of micro mold components, die components, and uh, small orifices in, in materials as exotic as zirconium, ceramic, carbide, and even diamond. Once we've found that this, this new technology, focus variation, has allowed us to basically quantify what we're doing, we saw this as a a great, a great opportunity to show the, the, the public what is, what is possible. Well, we see the responses from our customers based on a, a component we're making, and they're, they're asking us, how did you measure that? How did you do that? <laughs> this is the, um, the Alicona demonstration center that we've set up here, and here we have two of our Infinite Focus G4 machines. These machines are equipped with all the latest software modules we have and this means we're able to perform measurements for customers and uh, also Mark utilizes them of course for measurement of his customer samples. The facility here will enable us to accommodate two people at a time or two groups at a time and uh, we're able to produce the results which the customer is then able to take away and use in some demonstration software to evaluate their own measurements. Uh, this um, really replicates our facility at our headquarters in Graz in Austria and so we now have two global centers where we can perform measurement work.